So by now you've probably heard of ChatGPT, the amazing program that can create any type of body copy or text that you ask for and it's so amazing for finishing your essays and assignments. However, what people don't know about ChatGPT is that it actually can get picked up through plagiarism checkers within the school system and isn't exactly foolproof online. Now don't get me wrong, ChatGPT is such an amazing program, however, I have just the fix for you guys in today's video. Before I get into that, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton as we're nearing in on 100,000 subscribers. All I want in life is for that play button and we are just so close to grasping it. So if you guys could go down and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a ton and you won't regret it as I'll keep you up to date on all the latest and greatest AI technology you never get left behind. With that being said, let's get into how I get around the plagiarism checkers that school systems Put in place so that people can't do stuff like this. In my personal opinion, I think you should be allowed to use AI to finish homework assignments and all of that good stuff because hey, it's the internet and that's what you're going to be using for your jobs in the future anyways. But regardless, let's get into it. So like anyone would in ChatGPT, we're going to ask it a question that might be on a typical assignment. So let's say, give me five objectives for a shoe company. Now this might be a question you could get on some type of essay or IMC if you're in a business program. So we'll just ask it this, but you could obviously ask it whatever you need to do. So chat GPT is going to work its magic and spit out all of this valuable, really good information. However, the problem is if we go and copy and paste everything it inputs, it is going to get picked up by these plagiarism checkers. Additionally, if you have other students and you're class who are answering the same questions as you on an assignment and you're all using chat GPT you're all gonna have the exact same answers now to get around this you'll be using a tool called quillbot.com quillbot is a basic paraphraser for chat GPT and they work perfectly with each other. So all you want to do is copy that text that you got in chat GPT, paste it into the Quillbot and what it will do is basically paraphrase your chat GPT text. Now there are some unfortunate things with the Quillbot in the fact that you have to pay a for premium if you want more than 125 words at a time and if you want some of this really juicy benefits i would just like to say i'm not being paid by quillbot at all for this video however their premium package is quite enticing if i do say so myself so we're just going to limit it to our three objectives here now, if you did have the premium version, you could go and change the way that it's paraphrased, the text is paraphrased. So if you wanted to have your text be simple, or let's say you wanted to make the text more formal, you could do that with the premium version. With the free version, you only get standard and fluency. So we'll do standard and we'll hit rephrase right here. And it's going to rephrase all of our text that we pasted in. And as you guys can see, just reading the left side and the right side, you can see the changes made. You can also go to individual words and hit paraphrase and just rephrase that particular sentence or area of text. It's so crazy the amount of stuff that you can do. So bam, we have our new text right here. You can also change the amount of synonyms you have within your text so if you go down there will be less and yeah that's pretty much the brunt of this program you can also go to their grammar checker and fix any of the errors within the grammar i find the grammar is never really that bad with chat gpt however you can do this just in case and bam now your text is ready to go 
Honestly, the only thing that sucks about Goldball is the fact that like some of their stuff is hidden behind premium paywalls, but it makes sense. They got to make their money and I definitely recommend using this program. Even if you're going to do the free version and just do like 125 words at a time, I still definitely think it is worth it so you don't get expelled or whatever for plagiarizing your schoolwork. Not only do they have grammar checker, they have plagiarism checker, which unfortunately is behind that paywall, but they also have co-writer, summarizer, and a citation generator. The summarizer is actually so cool. It essentially summarizes a document into only the most important words. So here we have the Great Gatsby and I'm just going to copy all of this text. I actually haven't used this part of the Cobot before, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how much it can summarize. I don't even know if this is going to work. And oh, unfortunately, you can only summarize 600 words. So we'll just summarize this stuff right here and we'll see what happens. And the summarizer did an okay job of summarizing. However, I'm not sure it would be very well used for something like summarizing The Great Gatsby. It might be better for like a school textbook where there's some key important information and other stuff isn't as important. But yeah, guys, that's my little tutorial showing you guys why you shouldn't just use ChatGPT for your homework and how much this can save you in the long run. Now there is actually one more program I did want to show you and that is the plagiarism checker through Grammarly. Now as I said earlier Quillbot unfortunately it is behind a paid wall to use their plagiarism checker. Thankfully Grammarly has a completely free one and it is verified that it works. I don't know how well Coolbots works. This one definitely works. So we're going to test it out. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So once again, we're gonna to go to chat GPT and we're going to ask it how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. We'll see what it spits out and then we'll copy that and put it in the plagiarism checker and see if these steps were plagiarized from online or if the words would come up on a school assignment and get you in trouble for plagiarism. So here we have our text outputted right here. We're going to copy that within chat GPT and go to Grammarly and we can actually paste that in. You can actually upload a file. So if you do have schoolwork that you wanted to make sure that you didn't have any plagiarism, you could just upload that file, upload it and check all that. But we just have the text we paste in. So we're gonna paste it in, scan for any plagiarism and we'll see what comes back. I have tested a few times with different phrases, chat GPT spits out. Sometimes it doesn't get picked up, but a lot of times it actually does get scanned for a ton of plagiarism. And that is just because chat GPT is an AI algorithm that is grabbing information and text from the internet. So everything chat GPT spits out is technically plagiarism because that's the whole purpose of it. And as you guys can see, we have found significant plagiarism in your text and have also detected nine writing issues. With Quillbot, you can fix those writing issues. However, the plagiarism is what Quillbot is used for and this is why. They found significant plagiarism within that small little text on how to make a grilled cheese. So this is important to note when handing in your school assignments or handing in something for work that this will come up as plagiarism if you just use chat GPT. So make sure to use Quillbot when you do. If you enjoyed this video or if you just enjoy AI technology at all, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. It means a ton and it really does help me out. That being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace. See you later. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to remember. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. And if you're a fan, subscribe if you can. Keep